It's time for more Nancy Drew, the final scene. I'm your Gibbs, and we need to call the police. 911. 911. Hello? Pick up, pick up. St. Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold. Missing persons, this is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass, and she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? And last year there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon here with this whole Royal Palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't gonna have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada yada yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. Okay. So I guess we are done for now. Uh, we should talk to Nick, maybe? Is he still here? I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Or not. Day two. Oh, what's this all about? Deepest sympathy. Planning a funeral is such a dreadful pain. Wouldn't you rather just stop the demolition? Okay, that's weird. Who sent the flowers? Can't quite make out the initials there. Well, let's see if Nick is here. And then we'll confront him. He is not here. Hmm. I don't think we'll find anything new here. No. Well, we can go talk to the projectionist upstairs. I think. We'll try anyways. 
Let's go this way. Oh! That's interesting. Missing. Maya. Originally from River Heights as a sophomore at Washington University and a reporter for the school newspaper. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. The Simone Mueller, head of publicity, National Fine Maya campaign. Brady Armstrong is offering signed poster of his new movie, Vanishing Destiny, whose national premiere has been postponed due to this unfortunate turn of events. Birthmark on the right angle, last seen carrying a spiral reporter's notebook. Hmm. Hello? I'm sorry I had to see that wreath, Nancy. It's disgusting. This is one creepy kidnapper, that's for sure. Uh, let's hope the kidnapper just did this to scare you. <laughs> like I'm not scared enough? Like I don't know time is running out? The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but <laughs> they're all over it like ants on a picnic. Where did those missing posters come from? I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. Are you thinking of a certain Hollywood agent we know? Can you believe the way she diverted all of the attention away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero? This shouldn't be happening. It's all backwards. So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're going to put one on the map. I got some money saved. Okay... Tell me about that old key-making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. My BF? Who is this J.J. Thompson character, anyway? Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler Dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he, uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. The history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society's been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. Hmm. The police told me Nicholas Falcone is known for using extreme tactics to further his political causes. Why are you letting him use the lobby as his headquarters? Nicholas has been hanging around this theater since he was a little boy. I know how torn up he is about the theater. This will be over soon enough, and then he'll go home. I don't think he's dangerous, for gosh sakes. Really? Gotta go now. Atta girl. Atta girl. Hey there, Nancy. <laughs> Gotta go now. Bye. Atta girl, man. Atta girl. You don't think Nick's dangerous? Really? Hmm. I don't know. Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. So I wonder if I have to do that when he's not around. All right, well, let's go uh, talk to Nicholas downstairs. See what he has to say for himself. Uh, there we go. Is he here now? He is here now. Hi there. Nancy, what's the 411? You didn't tell me kidnapping was part of Activism 101. That's all hearsay, Nancy. They got no witnesses, no testimony, no nothing. So you have or have not used kidnapping to further your causes in the past? I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan and down with the cause. Hmm, interesting. Ever hear of the wrath of Nancy Drew? It's not a pretty sight, Nicholas. Not pretty at all. All right, Officer Nancy. Chill out, will ya? I'm on your side. Tell me about your relationship with the police. All I know is they like to dig through my garbage and follow my van. Does this face say America's most wanted to you? It, it is a little creepy with the facial hair, I have to say, and the eyebrows. I don't know. 
You don't look very trustworthy. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. They've been in that process for years. It's all just a big wad of red tape, a bunch of bureaucratic hocus-pocus. Had it's about action, not paperwork. Okay. Catch you later. Fight the power. I got the number. I left it in the ticket booth. This woman isn't a Houdini herself. She's the widow of one of Houdini's cousins. Hmm. Maybe she knows what's happened to Houdini's half of the theater. I'll call. All right, I guess we have to make a phone call to Houdini's widow. Oh, where did you leave that note? Oh, Florida. I don't know if I have to write this down. I'm going to assume I do. So, 8, 1, 3, 5, 5, 5, 3, 2, 4, 7. Do, 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 do. I'm not even sure how to pronounce her name. So, it looks Russian to me. Alright, let's do this. We'll do one. Oh! Got a little carried away there. Hello, Miss Andropoff. Yes, hello. Hello, is this Eustacia Andropoff? Who else would it be? Everyone else is dead. Oh, Mrs. Andropoff, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm trying to find out some information about Harry Houdini. Is it true that you're his cousin? Who wants to know? Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case in St. Louis. Harry was only my cousin by marriage, but my husband is dead, and so is Harry. So I guess that makes me nobody's cousin. Satisfied? I'm researching Mr. Houdini's ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater. Would you know anything about this? He owned it. Have of it anyway, for a few months. Then he died. Does that help? Do you know what happened to his half? Did he sign it back over to J.J. Thompson? Return it to James Jehuzaphat? Mr. Stupendous? Not on his life. Losing that man was Harry's greatest escape. Did someone in Houdini's family inherit the theater? Harry made a plan to give his half of the theater to someone he admired. A young magician, I assume. Perhaps a protege. I remember my husband telling me this. Can you tell me anything more? More? I'm 96 over here. I don't exactly have time to burn. I know it was a long time <laughs> ago, Mrs. Andropoff, but this is terribly important. My friend is in danger, and finding out what happened to Houdini's half of the theater may be my only hope of saving her. Call the Library of Congress. Ask about the Houdini collection. There must be something in all of those letters. You tell that Sherman Trout, your station said. You are not dead yet, Sherman, so get up and make yourself useful. The Library of Congress. You don't happen to have that number, do you? <clears throat> well, I should have this letter from Sherman around here somewhere. Cat food coupons. Vincent Jack has a repair. There you stay. Here we go. Library of Congress, Washington, D.C. Two zero two five 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 zero zero zero. Thanks, Mrs. Andropov. You've been a great help. Save it for my funeral. <laughs> She's kind of cool. I like her. All right. Well, let's go ahead and call the uh, Library of Combat a uh, Congress. Manuscripts. Uh, I'm trying to reach Sherman Trout, please. Speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Mr. Trout. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case that involves Harry Houdini and the Royal Palladium Theater in St. Louis. Eustacia Andropov recommended I call you. Ah, uh, yes. Eustacia was most helpful to us when we were assembling our Houdini collection. I presume you'd like to have a look at it? Yes, please, Mr. Trout. I'm very interested. Fine. Well, you'll just need to register with the library when you get here and fill out a request for the materials you wish to view. 
When your request has been processed, the materials will be delivered to one of our reading rooms, where you can view them. Mr. Trout, please, let me explain. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to come to Washington, D.C. to do research. I'm hoping you could help me find a document. Well, Miss Drew, I'm sorry if you have logistical constraints, but please understand my own limitations. The Library of Congress currently holds over 40 million items, contained in 10,000 separate collections. It's the largest and most comprehensive library in the world. I simply don't have time to run research errands for the individual citizens. Mr. Trout, if I don't solve this case in a matter of hours, the building I'm standing in will be demolished and an innocent 19-year-old girl, a friend of mine, may lose her life. You may be my only hope. Why is your friend in danger? She was kidnapped by someone desperate to save this building from demolition. Then what can you possibly be hoping to find in the Houdini collection that would help matters? Mr. Houdini was part owner of the theater, and I'm trying to find out who inherited his half or what became of it when he died. I'm hoping Houdini might have discussed it somewhere in his personal documents. If I can prove that the current owner is not legally the full owner, then maybe I can get the demolition stopped and save Maya. I see. Well, this sounds urgent. I suppose I can take a look. That would be such a help, Mr. Trout. If you find anything, could you overnight it to me at the Royal Palladium? Well, I certainly can't send you the document itself. It's a historical artifact now. But I could send you a slide. What's the street address there, if I find anything? It's 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63101. Please send the package in care of Nicholas Falcone or myself, Nancy Drew. I can't tell you how grateful I am, Mr. Trout. You might just be a lifesaver. Miss Drew, I assure you, Sherman Trout is a man of his word. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs> okay, Sherman. Assure me. Uh, Alright, well that's interesting for us, I suppose. I'm kind of uh, looking to maybe wander around here for a little bit. Let's just talk Did you call? Here. What's the story? Sure did. Go on, spill it. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. And what did they say? Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. Way to go, Nancy! You're on fire! Uh, yeah, I'm fire. Catch you later. Fight the power. <laughs> Fight the power. I can't get over how silly that is. All right, let's go talk to the projectionist, see if he's got anything new and exciting, and then we'll go find Simone, and then maybe... Brady. Hey there, Nancy. Gotta go now. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we need to turn around here. We'll go find Simone. She will be in the ladies' dressing room. Ah, uh, sure, we'll go this way. Actually, can I even go down this way? Oh, I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Just check something here. Look for anything shiny. I guess I can't cross the seats either. Let's see. Creepy flowers are creepy. Do 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 do. All right, we'll talk to Brady first since he'll be on the way. In theory. Hello. Where is he? He is not here. Is there anything I can look at? You are what you project. Whoa. You are my oyster. You will soon find yourself basking in fame, fortune, and social popularity. You grabbed your destiny by the horns and sailed it into the sunset. Oh. Come back here and swab this deck. You work for me, Captain Brady. 
What's your fashion sign? Astro style. Gemini, the twins. In a rut? Want to change your life right this minute? Why not start by changing your outfit? <laughs> okay. There you go, Gemini style. You have a big new project coming up, Gemini. You'll want to project a new sense of adventure and daring. But at the same time, you'll need people to take you seriously. Consider a theme and then accessorize. Wild Wild West. Pirate of the High Seas. Gambling Tycoon. And s add some studious looking glasses and maybe a pipe to any of these styles. And people will know that you consider things carefully before you act. Okay. That's a little random. You are what you project. Alright, well you know what? I think we can... Uh, you know what? I think what we'll do here actually is we'll sneak up on some... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'm looking at the time. We're out of time! I actually went a little over, but that's okay. It's Nancy Drew and I can't help myself. I'll see you in the next video.